Hi guys, Max Jensen here. Today it's about DX, hair DX, back tail DX, bunny DX. You know, all these creatures here, just tied and uh, ready to go fishing. Looks great here. Um, but what's really interesting is how do they look underwater? And as you know, on this channel, that's, that's what we do. So let's take a bunch of these ticks out in real rivers and real lakes and see how they swim, how they act underwater, how the materials breathe and, and move underwater. If you like what you see in the underwater ticks, you can try these ticks for yourself. Each dig in this uh, video is also made as a full trying tutorial video. So you can find that in our, on our channel as well. That's all. Let's uh, take these digs underwater. When fished, the blue, olive and white hair blend nicely on this dig, and the flashy sideline adds to the illusion of a tasty blue bag herring, smelt, alewife, kiskos or the pelatic bait fish. On this dig I actually let the tree color ahead influence my choice of colors. White on the bottom, olive sides and blue back. If anybody tries to tell you that bucktail hairs are stiff and lifeless, show them this video. The material in these Berkeley dig heads are weight compensated, meaning in this case that the head is relatively light for its size, making it ideal for these digs that can be fished anywhere in the water column. Seems they are hard to get hold of at the moment though, so you can use alternative dig heads. One of my go-to lures for predators hugging deep structures or deep drop-offs. Blue and black are two of the only colors visible in deep, dark water. And the black and white bared rubber legs are there for action and contrast. Tied on heavy and noisy dig hooks, this is a deep water bump for pike, musky, bass, walleye, catfish and other predators. Will it catch pike? Yeah, just take this window monster that grabbed this lure. Rabbit strips and dig heads are a perfect match. The dig heads add a lot of action to the super soft rabbit fur and the added weight when the fur gets wet gives longer cast. Even with relatively light dig heads. Soaked rabbit fur can be a pain to cast on the fly rod. But on a spinning rod or bait casting outfit, it's a bonus. You can tie this stick in every imaginable color combination. These pink and purple colors can be 
the number one combo when fishing for perch in my home waters though. And it's a great combination for trout as well. Dozens of perch chose this dig on a summer trip to northern Sweden last year. This little dig has been a great lure all spring. The brown and orange color pattern is just super effective during winter and spring when the water is still cold. Predators might take this for a crawdad or small golden bait fish, but it also has some resemblance to trout and salmon roe. Great for trout as well as perch and panfish. Squirrel dig version 1 and version 2 are kind of the same but different. The first version has proven very effective when fish are actively hunting and coming in for a kill. But especially during trout fishing, I've experienced short strikes with fish doing some tail nipping without committing. I made this new version for those occasions. Furthermore, I feel it has more of a crayfish or crawdad-like appearance. Nowadays, I carry both versions for any trip. Dragonfly larva are large predatory water-living bugs that are common in lakes and ponds, as well as large, slow-flowing rivers. If you see dragonflies over the water in the warm months, chances are that the larvae are in there year-round. They come in all shades of brown, olive, green and yellow, and can be as long as up to two and a half inches. That is a large lava, and in a macro photo, their mouth pads will give you nightmares. They feed on anything they can kill, and that includes other insect larvae, leeches, and small fish. Most of the time, they crawl the bottom of structure looking for food, but when they try to flee from a predator, they are able to do something really weird. They have an extreme unique system of respiration. Breathing water through a set of posterior gills. When they need to move in a hurry, they create a jet ski-like propulsion by rapidly expelling water through their anuses. That enables these large lava to shoot like projectiles through the water. Sorry about the nerdy, weird-ass biologic part, but those movements are what you should be trying to achieve when digging your lure through the water. Black lures are great when you fish deep or dark stained water. And when you fish any time between dusk and dawn. This is a large profile black tail dig with a glowing fire in the butt. I always like the idea of concealing a fiery hotspot behind a cover of dull or dark materials. The massive tail of flashy dubbing keeps a large and very visible profile, even in a strong current. 
and the buoyant materials make it almost weedless, even when you fish it right on the bottom. This stick has been fantastic in rivers and lakes and works any time of day actually. Okay guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.